Okay, for those of you who did not see the first video, uh, we're comparing the Surface Pro 3 uh, with the ThinkPad Yoga. Both of these are i7 devices. Uh, this is a 4600U and this is a 4650U, the difference being Intel HD Graphics 4400 on the ThinkPad Yoga and HD Graphics 5000 with 20 more execution units on the Surface Pro 3. Uh, what we saw in stock configuration is that the Surface Pro 3 started throttling which reduced performance and extended gaming you know over the course of just a few minutes whereas the ThinkPad Yoga was able to um, maintain its performance which brought it up higher than the performance of the Surface Pro 3 despite having the lesser graphics uh, but what we've done now we're testing is an undervolt and I've undervolted both of these devices to a stable range um, on both the processor, the GPU, and the processor cache. And uh, what that's going to show us is if, you know, giving a little bit more thermal headroom by undervolting, whether that's going to increase performance, whether it's going to make the Surface Pro 3 throttle less and start to outperform the ThinkPad Yoga, um, we don't know what's going to happen. So, um, Let's go ahead and get started. We'll do three passes just like we did in the first video and uh, see how we end up. Here we go. We're seeing already that the ThinkPad Yoga is able to maintain a 2.8 gigahertz CPU speed while bouncing around at about the top graphics frequency rate as well at about 1100 where the Surface Pro 3 is down at about 650 megahertz and uh, 2.5 at this point we'll have to see if that makes a difference in the frame rate okay and there we have it ThinkPad Yoga now 31.6 frames per second where the Surface Pro just barely edged out its initial run uh, from the stock performance so undervolted average frame per second 30.1 on the Surface Pro 31.6 on the ThinkPad Yoga so let's go ahead and run the second pass we've let these uh, computers warm up a little bit by running that first benchmark and let's see what sustained performance looks like okay pass two in three two one So this is actually pretty drastic. 800 megahertz right now on this device, while this is still at 2.7 gigahertz. 550 GPU, 1100 G GPU on the ThinkPad. Okay, so pass two. Average frame per second on the ThinkPad Yoga, 31.8. On the Surface Pro 3, 25.2. So we're going to run the third pass and see where that puts us. These machines are really ramped up now. I can hear both of their fans kind of going full blast, which neither of the fans are that loud, but you can hear that they're now fully ramped up. So, let's run pass three. Okay, pass three, 720p Tomb Raider test between the Service Pro 3 and the ThinkPad Yoga.
you can really see on the graph on the Surface Pro 3 that those green lines which indicate thermal and power limit throttling are really kind of ramping up which is limiting performance locking the processor down to about 800 megahertz okay ThinkPad Yoga really consistent performance 31.5 frames per second where the Surface Pro 3 is now dropped to 21.5 frames per second even with undervolting so these are both undervolted the same amount Surface Pro 3 just can't stop throttling so you've seen my other video we've got our special little fan I'm gonna run a fourth pass just for fun with this fan on the Surface Pro 3 to see what the difference this fan makes okay here we go I've let the uh, fan start on the uh, Surface Pro 3. Going to run a fourth and final pass to see if undervolting plus fan on the Surface Pro 3 can beat the ThinkPad Yoga. And here we go. Three, two, one. Pass four. I can tell already the Surface Pro 3 is able to not throttle all the way down to 800 megahertz. It's actually at 2 gigahertz right now. So that's a good sign. And there we have it. At the end of the day, ThinkPad Yoga on the fourth pass maintains really consistent performance at 32.1 frames per second. The Surface Pro 3 with the fan is now able to maintain an average of 29 frames per second. So you can see that little fan makes all the difference. However, the ThinkPad Yoga is still able to edge out the Surface Pro 3. So where does that leave us? We've got two devices here. Um, roughly the same performance. Uh, both of the CPUs will turbo up to 3.3 so uh, it's pretty equivalent and uh, the base clock of the 4650 is 1.7 gigahertz where the base clock of the ThinkPad Yoga is 2.1 gigahertz but that actually doesn't even matter because with the power saving features both of these will throttle down to somewhere around 800 megahertz anyways so the processor performance is roughly equivalent between the two of these devices and then what we see is, despite the uh, Surface Pro 3 having more hardware uh, units, the ThinkPad Yoga is still able to edge out that HD 5000 just due to the thermal limits of the Surface Pro 3. Now, if you undervolt both of these devices, the ThinkPad Yoga is able to still outperform the Surface Pro 3 in extended gaming. Um, but if you add the little fan on the side, you get roughly equivalent performance. Um, even undervolting without the fan, um, the ThinkPad Yoga, you know, you're looking at 20 frames a second with undervolting without the fan versus, you know, 31, 32 frames per second on the ThinkPad Yoga. That's a huge percentage difference in performance. So um, if you do have the Surface Pro 3, you're going to have to get one of those fans on the side to make sure you keep it cool. Um, if you want to be gaming on the device or doing some high performance GPU load um, but uh, if you have the ThinkPad Yoga just with some basic undervolting you can really get a lot more performance out of this device despite it not having the HD 5000 so um, both good devices both can game at equivalently the same levels but you have to take different routes to get there thanks for watching this video comparing the ThinkPad Yoga and the Surface Pro 3 Subscribe to my channel for more cool videos and uh, we'll keep chugging along and uh, figuring out what all this new technology means. Hopefully we'll be able to look at a Core M device very soon. Thanks for watching.